Welcome back to Boldly She Roams. In today's video, we're diving into my favorite kitchen items for the RV. These items make cooking and storing food on the road a breeze, no matter if you're a full-time RVer or a weekend warrior. So let's get started. First up is gonna be food storage. These are my stasher bags and other reusable silicone bags. These are perfect for leftovers, for snacks out on adventures, and for marinating ingredients. These are reusable and eco-friendly, so they're a great thing to have on the road. Now this next item really only comes in handy if you have a good freezer, but I love this item. It is called a super cube. These are really cool freezer trays that allows you to freeze things like spaghetti sauce and soups or broth in perfect cup or half cup portions. I use them a lot for leftover chicken broth and spaghetti sauce, but what I actually use them most for is freezing milk. So I'm a true Midwest girly and I do love my milk, however I don't go through it very fast. And I hate buying half gallons because half gallons are never half the price of a full gallon of milk, which is stupid. So I buy a full gallon of milk and freeze about half the gallon in my super cubes. I have two of them, one's in use right now, so this one's clean. When it comes time to unthaw the cubes, I will use this little Rubbermaid pitcher and I will drop two or three cubes in it, let them melt, and then they're ready to go. Now, my hot tip for doing this is to make sure to shake your milk before you pour it. The reason why you do this is because when you freeze milk, the fat and the liquid will separate. So when you give it a good shake, it'll stir it all back together. So when you pour it, it'll be just like you never froze it. And yes, I know I say milk. I don't say milk, I say milk. Don't judge me. I know you are. Now the next items live up in my pantry. And they are these clear organizers. Not only do they maximize the storage up in my pantry, but they also keep things from falling all over the place and falling out of the pantry when I open it up for the first time after moving spots. Now, I got mine from Walmart. They're the Home Edit brand, but you can really get these anywhere. The Home Edit had the best size and price for my pantry, but again, really any will work. So just measure your pantry and find out which ones work best for you. The next couple items are really great additions for actually cooking your meals. This item has the best name ever. It is called the Splatter Dome. And what it is, it's just a cover for many different size skillets to help things from splattering in such a small space right here. And not only does it sit flat, but it also extends to a little higher like this. If you cook a lot of bacon, this is definitely a must have item. This item surprisingly has been my most used item. This is a manual blender. It's really great for blending or chopping anything. The blades in it are so sharp, they will cut through anything. And it's just an added bonus that it doesn't use any electricity. All it really takes is a couple of poles and it'll chop through whatever you want. I've chopped walnuts, I've chopped vegetables in here. I've also made my favorite no-bake oatmeal bars. The next two items are for my oven. First, it is always helpful to have a thermometer because the knob on the oven isn't exactly clear what temperature you're actually at. And by that, I mean the marks on the knob go up 50 degrees every mark. So if you want to live in between those, it's not really clear where you need to set it. So having a thermometer lets you know exactly what the temperature inside is. Mine's really old and dirty, but still works great. <laughs> and then this item, which is a little dirty, is my air bake sheet. RV ovens do not do a good job distributing heat well. So adding this sheet to your oven helps distribute the heat in the oven better. It really makes for even baking and prevents burnt bottoms. You can also get a pizza stone, but those cost more and are breakable. This was a really inexpensive product and there's no way that this is breaking. Now the next item is definitely my biggest. This is my instant pot and air fryer top combo. Now I do not take advantage of this like I should because I've come to realize that I prefer the air frying mode a lot more than I prefer the instant pot. And the problem is there's not a whole lot of space inside for air frying items. 
for just me, it mostly works, but sometimes not even I have enough room to air fry everything for one meal. So while this still makes my list of favorite kitchen items, I do want to put an asterisk on it. If you didn't find yourself using an instant pot before traveling on the road, maybe wait a few months and see if you would actually want or need one. I was a little enthusiastic and dove right in and was like, I'm gonna use it for all my meals and just found that I've really been using my stove in my oven just like I did in my apartment before I moved into my RV. Another smart thing to think about is whether you would need both. The air fryer top only comes on the six quart Instant Pots. So they take up a lot of room and it took a long time for me to find a good spot to store something as big as this. And maybe you only really need an air fryer, so I would just go with that versus the combination of the two. But if you truly found yourself using an Instant Pot and an air fryer before you moved into an RV, this is gonna save you a lot of money and space by doing the combo. So I do still use it a fair amount of the time, and I do still recommend a product like this that runs off electricity. However, just make sure you would actually use both or you don't prefer one over the other. And last but not least is the tiny but mighty Dawn Power Wash. The first few months I was on the road, I saw a tip from another RVer that they had filled a reusable spray bottle with water and dish soap so they could rinse things down and save on using a lot of water when they're washing dishes. And that kind of worked, but this has been a game changer. With this, you don't have to rinse your dishes. You just spray your dishes down with the power wash, give it a good scrub, and then rinse it clean of all the bubbles. And it saves so much water, and it is really effective at breaking down all the messes left behind on your dishes. I really, really am a big fan of the power wash. I really like it and would recommend it wholeheartedly. And there you have it, my favorite kitchen items for my RV. If you found this video helpful or have another item that you would recommend to me or other RVers, leave a comment below. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for RV travel tips, fun adventures, and practical insights. And until next time, happy cooking.